What happens if we hit? Oh, you have to hit leave meeting. Hmm? What happens if you leave that dialogue open, like for the whole session? Does that mean your video doesn't get recorded or what? I don't know, because I feel like when that happened before and I hadn't said yes yet, it, it just recorded me anyway. It didn't care. It was like, you either have to leave or we're recording you. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what am I doing? Um, that's not what I want. That's what I want. If, if now that I'm all teched it? out. If you can scoot over to your right just a little, little bit. Yeah. Because otherwise we can see Eric's screen. Oh, well, I don't think he's doing anything super sensitive. Okay. He's, he's arguing with a database at Sotheby's, I think. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. And then, and watching a movie at the same time. Multitasking. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, what do I look? I guess there. Yeah, that's probably the best one. <laughs> <laughs> we're Melissa and Mark and we're playing Gloomhaven and this is who knows how many installments and this will be the third video I upload today because the other two I still haven't uploaded yet. Well, remember, I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> <you're>, <laughs> So if you are you watching this on day zero as it drops, then you should probably watch the other two before this one as well. Because we're gonna yeah. drop you know, right before it. Um recap. So we've done a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um uh we there was I don't know if I can recap everything. We've gone so far at this point. Um, the most recently, we uh, recovered an artifact that was being used for evil to, and the artifact doesn't seem to want to be used for evil. It was sad or something. It, we anthropomorphized the artifact in, in the explanatory text. And so we, um, we had options to either use it for the city, which as it turns out, we didn't have the right stuff to do. So we couldn't use it for or against the city. And instead, um, we decided to take it to um, an enchanter hail again because we hail. Only an enchanter, apparently. yeah well like ugh. anyway um so we we are in the process of taking this artifact that we found in a cistern or something i don't remember oh no it was in the temple of the four seasons or something like that and <laughs> and <laughs> we and we ran around and it was super epic and you should watch that first or at least watch like the last 20 minutes of it first because that was a very epic end yeah and um and now we are taking it to hail well we're probably doing something for hail that will take forever because that's hail um to figure out what this artifact thing is we're doing science instead of just like wielding it as a weapon uh-huh sounds good um, okay, so, but while we do that, we have to do some sort of random event in a city. And then um, a road event after Hale sends us someplace. And then we oh, we don't have to do a road event. Link's Gloomhaven. We don't have to do a road event. It's in Gloomhaven, apparently. Oh, okay. Well then. Um, we still have to do a city event though, because things are, are happening in the city. What was that? City events are always optional. City events are always optional? Yeah, but I feel like we always want to do them because Yeah, we're... I always want to find out what's going on in the city. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get good stuff. Sometimes they take stuff from you, but sometimes you get good stuff. Okay, we're doing a city event. Uh, let's see, draw a card. Okay, you decide to unwind at the sleeping lion, but just as you are starting to relax, a bear of a man crashes into your table, scattering your drinks across the floor. Ooh, we might have done this one before. I think we did do this one before. Towering over him is a massive Enox. What did you say about my horns? The Enox shouts. The man stands up and brushes stars of glass from his tunic. I said the sight of them makes me want to vomit. The Enox roars and charges headlong into the man, crashing through more tables in the process. At this 
the entire tavern erupts into violence. After all, when a man is deep into his drink, the last thing you want to do is knock that drink over. Do we join the fray? Or do we try our best to stop the fighting? This is I one think last... Like, can we just go away? <laughs> yeah, can we just leave? Can we just finish our drink in the corner and go? Um, I think last time we, we did our best to stop the fighting, but I don't actually remember what happened. Yeah, neither do I. So let's join the fight. Okay. Fight for what's are we, right. Are we, are we fighting for racism or against racism? Since this is clearly a racist, yes, drunken racism. Actually, join the fray. Um, these insults will not go unanswered. So we're actually standing up for the guy who was insulted. Okay, I like that. Okay. Oh, we're gonna put this back in the deck again. Um, nothing like busting some drunken skulls to lift one spirit. Turns out to be a great way to unwind. Unfortunately, the proprietor of the Sleeping Lion doesn't exactly see it that way. And he solemnly asks for compensation for the damage you caused. We gain 10 experience each. And we either lose five gold each or lose one reputation. Um, let me see what our reputation is right now. Our reputation is 13, which gives us a price modifier of negative three. I have five gold I can spend. Let me see if I have five gold. Oh my gosh, doggies. I have five gold too. I can do that. So okay. we don't lose our reputation. Okay then. Hey. Sorry. The dogs are crazy today. Are they are they crazy every day? Um most days, but last night they decided not to sleep at all. Mm. And the younger one is basically a teenager right now. You can hear him arguing. <laughs> Enough. Nobody wants to play with you. No, we're tired of you. You didn't sleep last night. Nobody wants to play with you right now. Go to bed. Even his canine sister doesn't want to play with him right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to sleep because she was kept up all night too. Everybody's mad. It's no good. That scenario, 31. Didn't you? No, that's the level. All right. What level are we at? Two? Three now, because I leveled up last time. Remember, I got disintegration beam. Yes. I'm ready to disintegrate some people. Okay, so we're at level three. Mm -hmm. uh, but okay so you're level what level are you now five i'm level five as well mm -hmm. so that means you get hit points mm -hmm. nice yeah gone are the days when it only took like one hit to take me out <laughs> <laughs> okay i guess i'll read oh geez this is long we can we can take turns. You read the first four paragraphs, something like that. Well, I'll take the uh, the uh, exposition or whatever it's called. Oh, you want me to do Hale's voice? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. Is that what she's she's going to be talking? Yeah, yeah. You do Hale. Okay. Hale rubs her hands in excitement. On this day, I can tell you that for the first time, I do not regret turning you inside not turning you inside out when we met. Reading is hard. <laughs> <laughs> she says matter-of-factly. <laughs> um, the vessel of the elements, and you say it was under my nose the whole time? Amazing how some things get forgotten so easily. She, quick, she reaches out to touch it, but quickly recoils her hand. Oh, so this is why you brought it to me, and here I thought it was a token of friendship. She frowns. That... He says, pointing at the artifact. <laughs> it's a clear case of bad gifting. You're going to have to clean this thing out before I can accept it. <laughs> the artifact has been attuned to the plane of night, capable only of corrupting and destroying everything it comes in contact with. You could wreak a lot of havoc with this, but with such strong attunement, there's no way to control its power. You'll need to break the connection to balance it out. You stare at Hale blankly. 
Oh, what? Do I have to do everything? She asked incredulously. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not going to go in there and fix it, but I suppose I can transport your essences through to the other side so that you can sever this shadow link yourselves. Caleb begins to move her hands fluidly back and forth. Occasionally, a hand disappears down to her wrist, only to reemerge, clutching colorful magics, which she begins to scatter over you. So it's all very simple. Soon you will find yourselves in the plane of night. Just look around for a giant black pillar extending infin infinitely into the sky and then destroy it. Once you do that, I'll bring you back here. Before you even have time to object, your vision goes dark. At first you feel as though you're falling, but then realize you are standing on solid ground. Your vision adjusts and you begin to see features in your surroundings. You're in a cave covered in a slick black slime. I hope the cave is covered in a slick black slime, not us. Um, and there are demons. So many demons. <laughs> so the special rules are we're supposed to add three curse cards, but we don't have to do negative scenario effects because we were smart early on and decided not to do that. But we have to move the dark elemental token to the strong column at the start of every round and the light one down. So basically there's lots of black magic going on here. Oh, I can backstab like crazy then. Sweet. Blade of Night thinks it's got us fooled. Okay. But we're not light magic people. Demons. Lots of demons. We've got three, six, And then these uh, Cthulhu characters. Mm-hmm. I bought oh, retaliate. On the night demons, we have disadvantage on. <sighs> Terrible. Retaliate. Yeah. Retaliate two. Disadvantage. <laughs> Terrible, but not very high um, health. Not terrible. I guess not. Oh, we have to. Let's see what our random mm. goals are before random we put our characters okay. on the map. Oh man, this I'm never gonna like retire this character. <laughs> Well, then you'll be like the most powerful scoundrel ever. I'm so close. I am so close. To being the most powerful scoundrel ever or retiring? Retiring. But it requires a very specific thing, which I think might not ever happen again in this campaign. It already happened once? It's happened many times. But then shouldn't you have retired? No. Well... I have to, there's certain, there's, there's a certain thing that has to accrue. Oh. And, uh. And then you have to do a specific thing? Well, I just need a, it just needs to accrue to a critical point and then I can retire. And all the, so far, I think, I think we've done all the scenarios where it may accrue. So now it will never accrue again, <laughs> which means I'm stuck. <laughs> Uh oh. Anyway, we might have to we might have to um, invoke Matt's law of switching because you can't retire anymore because it's a terrible retirement card. But I don't actually know if I can't retire anymore. Oh, I guess that's true. I, I haven't like looked at the rest of the scenarios. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Uh. Okay. Got it. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to stick with the easy one. This one. Oh. Don't look. I didn't see. OK. I will show the people what I'm doing.
Okay, uh, let's see. Where do we start? I want to be in the corner as per usual. Actually, I want to be in the other corner. The one across from the trap. These are cursed traps, by the way. Oh. Where are you? Here or here? The other, the other side. The side with the trap. Where should I be? Right here? Sure. Or here? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I'm going to be here so I can close in on them. Okay. I'm sort of hoping they'll just step in that trap. So we're not going to. They're not going <laughs> to. But it will keep me safer. Except I've got way more health now, so I don't, you know, it's probably not that big a deal anymore. At first, it was important. Yeah, but they almost always attack me instead of you anyways. That's true. You know what? I want to be up one because then I can actually target them before they move. Up here or up here? No, um, just straight ahead one. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Is there anything else we have to do before we get started? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Did you pick a new ability card? I did. Remember disintegration? Oh, yeah, disintegration. I don't remember exactly what it does. It sounds powerful though. It, yeah, it's good. Is it single target or area? It's, it's area, but in a straight line, instead of like, normally I like toss a bomb and it's like a little cluster. This time it's like. Whoosh. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's an insta kill for anything below a certain hit point value. That's awesome. That's like my insta kill for any normal creature. <laughs> so long as both of us are standing next to him. The issue though is that I don't think it does anything else. So like if they have more than the baseline health. Oh, they just shrug it off? I guess. It doesn't say what to do to them. So I'm guessing that they just don't, they just shrug it off. We completely destroy lesser creatures. Yes, completely destroys lesser creatures, but not big bads. Okay. Do these guys have range? No, nobody has range. Okay, that's cool. So they're gonna, um, if I go here, <clears throat> there's gonna be a bottleneck and one of them might go through that trap. Oh, that's true. Right, because one of them can go here and then the other one is stuck, they have to go through the trap. That would be, that would be good. Because it's, it curses, well, I don't know if that will actually curse them. But it will do trap damage, and trap damage, do I have a thing that shows me trap damage? How would we curse them? I don't know if the app does, I don't know if the app that I'm using does curse cards. I mean, lets you add curse cards to a deck. Guess I don't what? know. Trap damage is five now, so that would be an, basically an instant kill for the deep terror and a near miss, a near kill for the night terror. Oh, okay. Night demon, I mean. Night, night terrors, isn't that like a, a thing? That, that's a real thing. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. May used to get them. Oh, how far can they normally move? Uh, four or zero. Four. So these deep terror guys don't move much. Well, I have to move first just so I can go here, right? Yeah. I guess I'm shooting one of them. When is this one? This one. Okay, I've got three. I have 17.
All right, so the night demons are gonna attack and pierce. They're attacking twice. But they're not moving and there's no range, so that's good. Right. And then the other guys are um, also not moving, but they do have range of four. One, two, three, four. And they're wounding and poisoning oh, adjacent enemies. Um, but maybe I should not move so that these guys don't hit me. One, two, three, four. You can move up one and still be blocking and still be out of range. Where? Just move up one because one, two, three, four is to the space right in front. So like if you went here, I think I have the map set up differently than you. Uh oh. Oh, I do. I have the monsters and the traps reversed. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're safe. <laughs> yeah, now I'm safe. Totally. Okay, so I'm going to move up there. Um, and then I'm going to shoot, uh, both of these guys. I have attack two, range three, target three guys. I can, can only target two of them. Um, for this guy, I draw a plus you one. Dis you disadvantage. You have disadvantage. Remember? Like I draw a plus zero. So okay. this guy gets two points of damage. For the other guy, I draw either a plus one or a plus one. So that guy gets three damage. Cool. Yeah. Uh, too bad they're not moving because one would die right now on the trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so my turn? Yeah. Your turn. Okay, um, so I'm going to attack this guy, the one by the trap, for three. Uh oh, minus one and plus one in wound. So I have to do minus one. So minus two. Which one's that? Yeah. Okay, he has two left. And then I'm going to move over next to you. You don't have to be healed though, so. Wait, are these stalactite things? Are they blocking? I can shoot over them, right? I think so. Double check, but I think so too. I just don't want to be like stuck behind something. They do not hinder ranged attacks. Okay, I can shoot over them. Okay. Cool. But so can they. So. Yep. Okay, so that's your turn. These guys, so they're not going to move. They attack uh, nothing because we're not next to them. Those the other guys also don't move. They also attack nothing because we're not next to them. I mean, oh, we're not. hey. What does that say that we could have had them curse themselves? Yeah, they could have cursed themselves if there was a, a light thing, but there wasn't. If there well, was and there's not going to be a light thing because it goes down to zero every time. Yeah. Interesting, though. Okay, it's next round. Cool. Um, hmm. I mean, the thing still applies. If we just stay still, no matter us, then one of them's gonna die. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I feel like we could also just move up and kill them <laughs> just as easily. Depends on whether they move around again this next turn. Yeah, I guess we won't know. Mm -hmm. um, so try to go early. I do think that these eyeball guys, though, the what are they? Deep terrors. Mm -hmm. 
Cthulhu guys um, probably don't move much. So I think it's possible that we can just like hang out at range and shoot them. This is kind of boring, but. Eh. I guess maybe if you had like a team of tanks instead of us squidgy run around people. <laughs> Yes, so. I'm going to force the issue. Uh, I've got 12. Okay, I have 18. Okay, 26. Again, not moving. And the other guys. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, they muddle us. Because at the start of the round, there's dark. Yes. Oh, is, so as long as neither of us are next to them. Only, if, they, only if they, uh, only if they're alive. OK. <laughs> The puppy finally gave up. He decided that a nap was better than just being screamed at by everybody. Um, here's a question. I have a pull mm -hmm. card. If I shot this guy, could I pull him into the trap? Um, I think the pull pulls it towards, let me see. It is technically closer to me. Pull. Oh, it says in a direction specified by the attacker, but each hex move must place the target closer to the attacker. It is closer. Okay, then yeah, it works. Direction specified by attacker. Okay. I'm pulling him to that. So he's dead. Dead. <laughs> bye bye, trap. Hello, gold. Then I am um, attacking this guy with my bow with an attack three at disadvantage. So it's either plus zero or plus one, plus zero. So three points. Three points? Two points? Three. This guy has one, two, that guy has two hit points left. Okay. And I can now, handle it. Now it's your turn. Okay. I hope I can handle it. All right, so I am attacking him for two and poisoning. So plus zero or plus one. Plus zero because I'm at disadvantage. So two points of damage of poison, so he also did. Please. And then I am going to go loot this over here. Money. Okay. Oh, then, wait, hmm? you might not want to do that. I might not want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, what are they doing? Oh, shoot. I don't want to do that. Give back the money. I'm just going to stay here behind this pillar and be safe. Wait. One, two, three, four. They're shooting in a straight line? They're shooting in a straight line, so you're okay, but I'm not. This guy is shooting me. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, I'm actually going to go around because they're shooting in a straight line, so I'm going to get the other loot. Two, three, four. So now I'm in range for my next turn, and I've got the next, the other loot. Oh, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that guy shoots me, attack three, pierce 
uh, and draws a plus zero. So I think I just take three damage. Yeah. What does Pierce do? I guess if you have armor, I don't have any armor. You know, Pierce negate. Oh yeah, it ignores the shield. Yeah, that's shield ignoring. Okay. Disarm one of these guys, huh? Um, you're not going to try to get close, right? I don't need a disarm a trap yet. No, you don't need to disarm a trap yet. Okay. I can't do like any damage if I get up close, truthfully. I've only got like one thing. I think it's my flamethrower, but I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, my flamethrower. I can only do flamethrower from up close, but I wasn't going to do that. If I got rid of this this trap though, and you move there next turn, we could automatically kill this guy. <laughs> Cause I can kill any one normal guy with if they're adjacent to a, one of my allies, you know? Oh yeah, that's cool. So I guess I'll try to do that. We'll see what happens. Okay. I have four. I have 20. Next round, four twenty. Four twenty. Um, I have fifty-four wound, poison, attack. Oh no, they have range. Target all adjacent enemies. Go. Well, that sucks. Um, and they also have that range four thing at the bottom. Yeah, I know. So, uh, if I get adjacent to them, I'm going to get wound and poisoned. If I don't get adjacent to them, I'm still going to get attacked, or we're still going to get attacked, right? But not wounded and poisoned. And wounding and poisoning, I can do wound and heal, or I can do poison. I can't heal all of that. Poison uses up a whole heal, but, but wound doesn't, so. Okay, well, this is pretty lame, but I think all I'm doing is moving in and um, disarming a trap. One, two, three, four, and disarming this guy. Okay. Okay, your turn. Okay, so first I'm going to shield each of us for one. So we're both shielded for one. Okay. So that helps a little. And then I'm going to attack and stun. Because their retaliate doesn't have a range, right? Yeah, does not have a range. Right. Which one should I attack and stun? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Okay, I'm gonna attack and stun this guy, I guess. Okay. Um, so it's attack of one, plus one, so it's attack of two, and he is stunned now. Okay, number seven. One, two. I have three points left. Okay, so their turn, that guy's stunned, he doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. this uh, doesn't do the thing that's adjacent, but he does attack me because I went before you. Uh, mm -hmm. Three plus one for four points. Yowch! Oh, three points because you yeah. have a shield. Yeah. Three points. Okay. Who earns? 
Sheesh. Okay. Well, we could probably kill them. I have a slightly different plan than killing them. But... You want to dance with them. Yes. Obviously. I'm going to do some crazy. Okay. You go with your crazy self. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, if somebody is here, like let's say we have an ally right here, like a skeleton. Uh huh. That, in the other room, you mean? Yeah, in the other room. Does that count as being adjacent to him? I don't think so. Because, uh, oh, wait. So, here's the thing the rule about like line of sight is that you can draw a thing a line between any point of a hexagon to any point of the other hexagon, right? So yeah. technically, yeah. Yeah, you they're can. in line of sight through the doorway, but they don't actually share an edge. I don't know if it counts. I you think in the door. they're within line of sight, but not adjacent. Yeah, I think that makes it line of sight, but not adjacent. I think they have to share an edge. Bummer. Okay, I'm not going to do that then. Uh, what I was going to do is go here, summon a skeleton there, and then whack. Oh, I could put the skeleton there. And then yeah. whack. The yeah. Okay. You can still do it. You can still do it. Uh, except maybe we don't want to summon a skeleton yet. Well, I also have a skeleton and a battle bot I can summon at some point. Which okay. I was going to use in the final room. Well, one of them, probably the battle bot in the final room. Well, I've got 11. I have 36. They're going to attack poison and then attack range and mobilize. Oh, uh, big long range, too. Retaliate, too. Okay. I'm definitely doing it. Okay. So <laughs> I am moving. Um, to the door. One, two, three. I saw two more movements. Yeah. Uh, let's see what's behind the door. Oh yeah, do we have to read the, about the door? No, the, the number one door is the next one. Oh, okay. So then, who do we have? We have one of these guys. Oh. We have an elite one of these guys. Oh, and then a bunch more of those guys. Good grief. Five of them. And a night demon. At least they're not continuously being summoned like that last time. Yeah, that is true. That was a pain. Or, or um, strengthened by the fact that we weren't done yet. Right. Wow, there are a lot of gays, these guys here. Yeah. Okay, so we have a night demon. I ended up getting that app that you're using just so that I can stop squinting at the screen. Mm. Which has been helpful, but I don't actually run the scenario or like pull cards or anything like that. So I just use it for like keeping track of who has what hit points. Oops. Oh man, they have poison. Oh, and a long range. Those imp guys are bad. Five, eight, six, seven, four. Five, eight, six. Oh, and that guy's going to go invisible. Wow, these guys are going to, they're doing some crazy shit right here. <laughs> um, 
Well, I, okay, so I just moved three. I have two left and I still have a thing to do. Um, yeesh. <laughs> Okay, so we don't want to attack them this turn because they have a shield. And they're just going to heal whatever damage we do anyway. And then the night demon's going to go invisible. And move through five. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to end up here. So he's still, he won't be within range to attack me yet if I don't move. Uh, so I guess I'm not moving. I will summon the skeleton. Okay. Back behind me. Cool. And then use this to knock off this guy. Okay, bye bye thingy. And now it is not your turn, but those guys' turn. They all shield up and heal. And then the night demon moves five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Turns invisible. Boo. I'll put him on a side to remind me. That means he's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I just put the little the little thingy like at his feet. That makes way more sense, but it's I'd have to dig it out. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they should have like a little a little thing. I know that we're supposed to use those cards to like track those kinds of things, but I just like being able to visually see it on the board and not have to look at the card because then I got to figure out stuff. Okay, is it my turn finally? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna move two, one, two right next to this guy and disarm him so he can't attack. Yay! So he's he's not gonna do anything this turn. Okay. And then I'm going to heal you for four. Yay. And that's my turn. See, it wasn't bad. Yeah. It was kind of dancing. It didn't turn out bad at all. Now it's next round. Now we have <laughs> so many guys to deal with. <laughs> and an invisible night demon. Yeah, oh, and I have to do a short rest. I only have one card here. So. Oh. But my skeleton is going into the fray. Sweet. He's invisible, but we know where he is anyways. Because it's a board game. <laughs> Yeah, but we're supposed to pretend like we don't know where he is. Are we? We can't target him. Right. But I bet, but we intuitively know because we're that good uh, adventurers. Well, yeah, but, but we don't know if he's dodged to the side. He can dodge while we're aiming at him. Okay. I'm not going to have this card anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hmm. Uh -oh. That's okay. It's my disarm a trap card. I already got rid of one there, so the path is clear. Okay. The traps. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so this guy is probably just going to get. Hopefully, my skeleton will probably just kill him. So I'm going to try to deal with these guys or something. Okay. What am I going to do? I guess I'm going to do this, which is ridiculous and bad. Yeah, I guess I'll just do this. I have a feeling that, wait, how, okay, so some good news is that these um, weird demon things, what are they, black imps, uh -huh. are, are the, I can disintegrate them. 
but we got to get them lined up. That's so cheating that we're telling each other what we're doing, but whatever. Two squishy players plus cheating equals an enjoyable experience. Like telling, telling me exactly which number and all that stuff, I think that's cheating. But telling me that you're going to disintegrate them or try to. Well, I'm not going to do it yet because I have to get that card back out of my discard hand, the discard pile. But. Right. So I can't see this guy, so I'm going to go, try to go after the big guy. Okay. But one thing I could do is like, I could move right next to him and move him onto this trap and he would take five damage automatically, right? As long as you move him. Wait, is that a push or a pull? I can move three and move uh, an adjacent enemy one space. Oh. Yeah, he would automatically take five damage and curse, but I don't know that it actually curses him. Yeah, so I think I should do that. Um, you can, you can add a curse. But I don't know how to do that in the app. You you click on the guy and then there's a add curse. Oh, okay. Someone is making pastries out in the front and it smells really good. <laughs> There's baking happening. I don't know what those guys are doing yet. Um You don't know how mean. Uh, hmm. We don't know how mean they are yet. Yeah, we don't know how mean they are yet. But given that they automatically poison, I think they're pretty mean. Okay, because like I could run in there, move them onto the trap, and then turn myself invisible. That's probably a good plan since they they have poison. Or I could run in there and like. I think basically kill that big guy by moving him onto a trap and then hitting him. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the night demon is also there and is possibly going to hit you too. So that's true. Okay, I'm doing these. Okay, I have twelve. I have nineteen. Oops. 12, 19. We go first. They are going to move one and attack range stuff. Okay. Let's make them line up when they move one. <laughs> As long as it's valid. <laughs> Actually, they'll move again, so maybe we don't need to make them line up yet, but lining up would be cool so that I can. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so first I'm going, uh, my skeleton attacks this guy um, and draws, I draw my own deck, right? Yeah. He draws a times two. Nice. So um, the skeleton attacks with two, so attacks for four, but also gets retaliate, right? No, only if he doesn't die. Oh, okay. Well, look, he's dead. dead. Four damage. We decided that you can't retaliate when you're dead. That's what we decided. But you could do like a last, you know, with your dying breath, flail your sword around or something. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. No? No. If this was a modern game, you with your dying breath you pull your trigger while you fall down right and spray the room <laughs> with bullets <laughs> no that happens when it's like explode on death that's what that is <laughs> right okay anyways the skeleton uh didn't move attack that guy killed him and then do i um shuffle my deck now or after does the skeleton count as my turn or does the skeleton count as his own separate turn I th think he counts as the beginning of your turn. So I think at the end. I don't think that there's a rule about that. I'm thinking about it and I don't think that it's, hold on, let me look. Like if you had to pull another one. Wait, maybe it doesn't matter. Hmm. 
Yeah, you know what? Don't worry, don't worry about it. It's moved because I'm not attacking this turn. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm moving one, two, three, and then moving this guy onto this trap. So he takes five damage. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm turning myself invisible. Okay. I do the same thing with you, by the way, when you turn yourself invisible, I put a little invisible chip on your base. That way I remember that you're invisible. Okay. Okay. What is the night demon doing? Okay. I, as long oh, but he's moving three. He's gonna move oh. three and attack. He's gonna he can't attack me because he can't see me, so he's gonna go after my skeleton, I think, unless you move closer. Okay. That was what I was trying to determine is whether or not. But if you move you know, if you move close to him and summon somebody, he'll go after your summon guy. I'm trying to save my, well, I guess I could summon a skeleton. We got a lot of guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to save my summons. Um, okay. But if, if I'm equal distance to the skeleton from, he's gonna attack your skeleton because of initiative, right? Okay. I'm going to move up one to get some loot. And then I'm going to attack the air. I was like going to be back up in case your skeleton couldn't kill that guy. So I like did not plan an extremely exciting turn. Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. All right. So uh, this guy is going to move one and attack at range four. One, two, three, four. Attack the skeleton. Uh-oh, I'm going to get got, aren't I? You might, he, if he kills the skeleton. Um, plus zero, so that's three damage. Skeleton has three hit points. Yeah. Two. He's dead. And poisoned. Uh, Dead and poisoned, yeah. One. I guess they each move one forward like that. And this guy moves there, and this guy moves there. Those three guys are lined up nicely for you. Four guys, actually. The night demon's right there. Um, yeah, but the night demon's about to move. Yeah, the night demon's pops back into visibility, moves to, and attacks you. Sad. Um, oh, and it's an attack of five. Yeah, five minus one. Four. Do I have anything to help? I do not. Okay. How many hit points does he have? Seven? Uh-huh. I can kill him. I can kill him immediately. I just need to walk up to him. Oh, because I'm adjacent? Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna have done a short rest at the end of that last round, just FYI. Mm, this one. Uh, that's fine though. Okay. Yeah, we'll get rid of him and then you can move forward and blast those guys or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna blast them. I'm gonna blast them. Okay, I got three. Hold on, I have to pick my, I have 20. Ah! And I have cards on the floor. Okay. 
Nightwing is doing the same thing as last time, attacking for five. The Black Imps are doing the exact same thing as last turn, too. Okay. But first, I am moving here. And then killing him. Insta death. Yeah. And then I'm going to use my stamina po potion. Mm hmm. Cards back. This one and this one. Um, now it's your turn. Okay. I'm moving three, one, two, three, right in front of that guy. And I am going to disintegrate all these guys because they have equal to or less than five. So these three are all dead. One, two, three, dead. Wow. Disintegration beam is awesome. And then I am summoning my skeleton right next to that guy so that he doesn't target me. Where are you standing? Here? Um, yeah, right there. And then I summon the skeleton in front of that guy that's kind of, that was going to like come in and whack me. Right here. Oh, wait, it's range four. He's just going to whack my skeleton instead of me, but that's okay. And I'm going to use my minor healing potion as well. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. Wow, that was a pretty good room clear. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so these guys, they're going to move one, attack two, range four. So uh, this guy moves backward one, I guess. Mm hmm Future skeleton. Uh, minus two, so zero damage. But cool. Oh, but poisoned? Yeah. No. Uh, this guy moves forward one, I guess. Wait. I think one of them moves on to the trap. Because <laughs> they don't have another. Yeah, because they're only moving one. Okay, so this guy moves one, one, two, three, four, not within range. This guy moves onto the trap and kills himself. Dead. That was number four. Okay. Can you hear that in the background? Yeah, what is that? That is me watching Minecraft videos, and apparently these girls get really excited about things, and they scream and things, and it's ridiculous. So long as no one's in distress, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really bad. Being, being a parent in the YouTube in the land of YouTube is truly epic. Used to be that back in the day, you could be pretty sure your kids weren't picking up weird things just randomly because they were in your house. It's getting hot. I'm going to turn on the fan. Maybe please turn that down. Okay. Okay, what do we have? Just two guys left. Yeah. And now the fan is making a funny noise. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix that. Good grief. Maybe please turn that down. Please turn that down, the truth is out. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I have four. 
I still don't know what I'm doing, so I'm sorry. That's okay. I think I'm gonna do, how many lost cards do you have now? Two. Okay. I'm gonna do that then. Okay. If I have 18. Finish me. Hmm? Uh, if you're gonna try to replenish my cards, then I need to be near you, right? Um. For one of them, but not the other one. And I'm doing the other one. Okay. We'll do a crazy move. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. I'm not I'm not planning for adjacency this time. All right. What number are you? Eighteen. Okay. They've got strengthen. Affect all allies within range two. What does strengthen do? I don't know what strengthen does. Advantage on attacks. And then muddle. We're going to muddle. Well. Disadvantage. Bleh. Uh, okay, anyways, I'm going first. Um, I'm going to use my winged shoes. Okay. Move one, two, three, four, five, next to this guy. And then um, attack them for either, or sorry, for uh, three, four, five, six damage. Six guys. damage to that guy? Six damage to that guy. Dead. 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 Yep. Okay. I lost track of one of these guys who is already dead. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, well, you moved out of range anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I thought I was going to be in range and I'm not. Um, okay, so I'm going to do things a little bit differently then. Um, is he is he moving? He's not moving. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to attack him for two and poison. Wait, wait, wait. Your skeleton goes first. Oh, right. My skeleton goes first. My skeleton moves up in his face and tries to hit him for two. Hits him for nothing because great job, skeleton. So then I'm going to attack him for two and try to poison him. Plus zero. So he's poisoned. And takes two damage, right? Takes two damage. This guy's dead. I'm doing a really bad job of keeping track in the app. There was a whole bunch of dead things still on my screen. And then uh, because you got a little bit too far, I'm going to move over here. And maybe I'll do something good to you next time. <laughs> I just moved over like. Uh, actually, does that even make sense now? Why don't you grab loot or something? Strengthen and muddle. Target all enemies within range two. I'm trying to stay out of range two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I don't want to be muddled. It's only the last one round, right? I guess that's true. And it's disadvantage only. All right, I'll hop up and get a loot. Loot. But me and my skeleton are about to be muddled. Yep. Okay, so he muddles you guys, and that's all he does. Yep. Can I leave him to you and go into the other room? Um, how many hit points does he have left? Three? Yeah, I can do that. How how many cards do you have in your discard? Um, two. Okay. So I mean, sorry, two in my lost. 
three in my discard. How many in your hand? Four. Okay. But I, it's not an emergency? Okay. I'm going to move and attack, I guess. Move that and shoot people. Okay, I have 11. I have 17. He's got 43. He's going to move, attack at range. But Target two and poison. Okay. We can handle this. <laughs> oh, I said we have disadvantage, so... That's going to be fun. Do you want me to shoot him? I can shoot him before I move. That might help, just in case. I'm going to move and then shoot whatever I reveal in the room. Either way, I mean, I'm just nervous because both my skeleton and I have disadvantage. Wait a second. I was supposed to shuffle this at the end of that last turn, so I got to do that. You'll be, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I'm moving. Uh, one, two, three, four. I have one left, but let's see what this is. Numero uno. Just as you are beginning to think about, sorry, just as you are beginning to think that hail sent you to the wrong place, you gratefully see the outline of a tower in the distance. The thing is massive, with twisting ropes of darkness weaving in and out of one another, reaching up through an opening in the cavern ceiling above you. Special rules. The rock column A there has eight plus L times C hit points. L, is, L is three, so oh. 11, 22. It's got 22 hit points. Okay, 22 hit points. C is number of characters, right? C is number of characters, yeah. Okay. Starting from the current round, at the end of every odd round, one normal night demon for two or three characters, or one elite night demon for four characters, will spawn in hex B. Okay, at the end of every even round, one normal night demon for two characters, blah, 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 will spawn in hex C. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I'm glad I've saved my battle bot. But we also have the room is populated already to begin with. We need to move the map. There, that's visible. Okay, so this thing has 22 hit points, and these are going to alternatingly spawn night demons. So, mm -hmm. like, we Do we have to kill everything? No, we just have to destroy the rock columns. So uh... <laughs> we could do, well, I said it's got 22 hit points, so it's going to be multiple turns anyway. Unless you have some crazy pants do no, 22 but... damage. I don't have a do 22 damage. No, unless it counts as a normal enemy. <laughs> I bet it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, yeah, I don't think that works. Um, let's get these guys on the board. I'm going to make a health thing for the, the, um, for the column so that we know when we've defeated it. Okay, 22 health. Um, Here we go. Seven and six. Oh, this is like not super useful if you're trying to look at mine for information. Geez, I was thinking it was pretty easy. 
Yeah, considering that we're on normal level. Yeah, can you see now where, there we go. In case anybody looks at mine. Okay, he's gonna move and attack. So if I move back one, he's gonna move into me anyway, so I might as well just stay where I am. The other guys are moving one, range four. Oh, wait. The other guys are not moving. Yeah, range three. One, two, three. So I'm not within range of these guys. Okay. So I'm staying where I am. Uh, and I'm shooting this guy here. Okay. I'm going to use my volatile bomb so that I also hurt the column. Oh, sweet. Uh, attack three on that guy plus zero, so three points. Uh, disadvantage, right? So you two uh, plus zero or plus one, so plus zero on that guy. Three points. Three points. One, two, three. Yep. And then and then the column. Okay. I don't have advantage against the column. Plus two. That's five against the column. Okay. 17. It's down to seventeen. Um so it goes four turns, three more rounds, maybe. Well, I have to get up there and then I can start doing AOE. But first, I have to deal with this guy back here. Yeah, I'm my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my skeleton tries to hit him for two, minus one, or plus one in wound, so it's minus one, so it hits him for one. Oh, he's poisoned though, so tries to hit him for three and gets minus one, so minus two points actually. Okay. Because this guy's poisoned. So he has one left? So he only has one left, yep. So um you can just run past him. Your skeleton is gonna occupy him, right? Maybe. Yeah, I mean I guess so then yeah, I'm gonna use my boots of striding to get past him and go one, two, three, four and loot that just because I'm there. And then I'm going to heal you just because you're there. So full health now. Yay. Oh, I guess I could have immobilized him on the way by. Oh, and we're not muddled anymore. He won't move anyways because he's going to attack your skeleton, I think. That's true. Okay. He is gonna move, right? Because it's a range attack. Whatever. <laughs> um. First, I, I kind of need him to kill the skeleton so that I can summon my battle bot. <laughs> oh, you can only one thing at a time. Huh? You can only summon one thing at a time. Yeah. Okay. Well then, just leave him. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Okay, this guy moves forward one to hit me for five. Woo wee! Wow, maybe I should have turned invisible. Yeah, I should have done that, huh? I forgot I had the cloak. Oh. Is that a good idea, or should I wait till next turn? I'm going to wait till next turn. Yeah, because there's going to be another one at the end of this turn. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. right. He's going to hit me for five plus zero. He's going to hit me for five. OK. Good thing he healed me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to heal you again. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> the black imp uh, is going to move back one. 
and then shoot your skeleton. Drawing a plus one, two points to your skeleton and poison. Oh, he's already poisoned, so it's actually more than that. So he's actually dead now. Dead skeleton. Wait yes. a second. I think he shoots you too. He targets two guys. Oh. How much did he hit me for? Two? Uh, at the roll. I mean, at the draw. Okay. Uh, one minus one. Zero points, but poison. But poisoned? Yeah. Oh. I'm doing damage where he poisoned you. I hate that. And then these guys I need to like have a range I need of three. to defeat him. Okay. Next round. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, night, a night demon gets summoned, right? Yeah, the night demon is summoned on this one, yeah. At least we only have six possible. Yay. <laughs> Are you going to run into the room and summon something? Um, well, I can't do a whole heck of a lot of running, but yes. But you could you could theoretically move two and summon a guy at the door at least, right? I could move two and summon a guy, yeah, like here or here uh, by you, but you're in the way. No, I mean, I could I... summon in the doorway if you're not in the way by the time I get there. Yeah, if, if, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. But I guess this doesn't help. Oh no, it does help because I can turn invisible and then they'll go after the thing that you send them. Yeah. Okay. I have sixteen. I have thirty-seven. Terrible. But first me, and then the night beam is gonna attack two, range three, target three, and muddle. Jesus Christ. Oh, three targets. Oh, I'm not close. I'm not close enough yet. Okay, phew. For once, it's actually good that I'm back behind. <laughs> yeah, it's actually fine, actually, because I'm going to be invisible, so they're just going to not target anyone. Okay, I am first. I am moving. One, two, three. I'm between him and the column. And attacking the column for three points. Okay. Plus one, so four points to the column. Okay, we're down to 13. Okay. And then I am. Just using this. I'm gonna poison him. Okay. That's it. And then I'm turning invisible. Okay. Okay. So he's gonna uh, attack nothing because you're not within range. He's gonna attack nothing. You don't see me. Your turn. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to move up to one, two, and I'm going to summon my battle bot. Oh, wait, that goes. Having issues with figuring out where everything goes. Battle bot to the rescue. Battle bot. And I get two experience points for that. And then I am going to uh use my stamina potion at this point and get two cards back 
Oh yeah, I'm doing a short rest. Oh, that's used up. Okay, so you're done? E yes, I am done now. Are you planning to stay put? Yeah, I'm trying to whack the column as fast as I can. Okay. Um, the black imp moves and attacks you. You've got range four. One, two, three, four. It does not move. It just shoots you. He's going to put a curse on you. Minus one. Zero damage, but a curse. All right. Oh, wait, but you were poisoned. Yeah, so one damage and a curse? And a curse, yeah. OK. Does that mean I have to shuffle my deck? I don't know. I think so. Like, I can't just put it on the bottom. <laughs> I think you have to shuffle. Uh, and these guys shoot in the straight line, but they don't. I'm not in a straight line, thankfully, so they're not shooting me. Yep. Uh, and next round. And we have another night demon. Oh, yeah. Would you rather that I do damage to the column or? I think we need to try to kill the column as fast as we can. OK. And if I die, then I die. <laughs> It has uh, 13 right now, right? Yeah, 13. OK. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I'm confident. Jeez, uh, I'm going to do. Okay, I've got four. I have 47. Man, oh, sheesh. Five, four. Move five, attack three. Ouchie. Those guys have range six and summon normal D terror in a hex adjacent to the target. We're gonna have two more D terrors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, first, I am attacking uh, this thing, the column. Mm -hmm. I might as well use my goggles because what the hell? Sure. So it's either a plus two or a plus zero. So I've got five plus two, seven points of damage to the column. Nice. So we're down to six. I'm moving here onto the chest. OK. Uh, we look at the end of the, I guess, at the end of the round. Yeah. OK. Um, they are moving and attacking. So 
uh, I'll give it to this guy first. He doesn't move because he's next to the battle bot. He attacks yep. battle bot for three plus zero. Three points. Okay. Battle bot is still okay. Okay. This guy moves towards me. One. You can go through friends, right? Yep. Three. So right there. Tax me for three plus one. So tax me for four. Mm. Down to five. The other guy moves five. One, two, three, four, five. You can get next to the battle bot this turn, so I guess that's what he does. Tax the battle bot for uh, three points. Battle bot is now dead. Good job, battle bot. Taking damage like you were supposed to. Yep. Um, that's it for those guys. This guy moves. This guy doesn't have to move. He attacks you again, range four. I'm poisoned already, by the way. Yeah. Well, he poisons you again, and he draws a negative one, so he does one point of damage. Okay. I can handle one point of damage. Um, now it's your turn. Okay. So, am I in range of any of these guys? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I am. Oh, wait, but can they see me? Yes, they can. Okay, so uh, first I'm shielding myself for one. And now I'm using my crank bow, attack six on the column. I'm going to use advantage, my goggles, to get advantage because this could be the end. Oh, awesome. Plus one or minus one, so plus one. So attack of seven on the column, which destroys the column. Awesome. The column is destroyed. Slam. And that is my turn. But the deep terrors still get to go, right? Yeah, they still get to go, but then nothing actually happens. Well, they get their attack of one, but. Yeah, so this guy attacks me for one plus nothing. He whiffs. Okay. This guy has attack range of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attacks me as well for plus one, so two points. Okay, and then they both summon new deep terrors next to you, right? Next to themselves. Next to themselves? In a hex adjacent, oh, to the target. Yeah, yeah, next to me. So there's like, I guess there's one here and that's it. But yeah. it doesn't matter because now the round's over. Yep, now the round's over and well, we won. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a weirdly anticlimactic one. <laughs> Surprising. Conclusion. Uh, with one last swing, or a uh, crank bow, I guess, the yeah. tower of black rope severs. The strands writhe and whip around, quickly ascending out of the cave as if falling away up into the sky. The ground shudders. Cracks from beneath your feet form beneath your feet, and there is a loud grating noise as the whole chamber shifts and begin to crash downward. As true panic sets in, you are whisked back into the crooked bone with Hale standing in front of you. Oh my, that connection receded much more quickly than I had anticipated. You're quite lucky I was able to pull you out of there before the whole place collapsed in on itself. The attunement has certainly been severed though. The artifact is perfectly balanced. Hale picks up the vessel with her hands and studies it closely. A true marvel. All fun aside though, if you're looking for the entity who could have attuned it in such a way, I may have something for you there. She sets down the vessel and pulls the map out of the air, laying it on her rickety table. After the connection to the plane of night was severed, I briefly felt a tug on the artifact from three different locations. It was being used as a power source, but with the source depleted, the tugging stopped almost immediately. I was still able to pinpoint the locations. Hale states triumphantly, marking the map. Here, out in the misty sea, deep under the surface, another one in the dark parts of the Dagger Forest, and finally one high atop the peaks of the Coppernecks. Hale straightens up and reaches for the artifact. I'll just keep this safe here. You look at her disapprovingly. Okay, fine. <laughs> she says. You, you can hold on to it. Probably safer with you anyway. Just promise you'll let me take a closer look at it sometime. Yay! And Global Achievement Artifact Cleansed. 
Let's see what's in the chest. Gain robes of summoning. Item 100. Oh, you got robes of summoning. Nice. Oh, I've got to unlock scenarios to unlock. Too many. Oops. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty-three. Okay, and we just finished Plane of Night. Great. So I have an announcement to make. Yeah. I'm retiring. Ooh. What was your retirement condition? I had to, I had the eternal wanderer. There is so much to see in this world. So many wondrous places beyond belief. Snowy mountain peaks, forgotten islands and crystalline caverns. I feel like I spent most of my time in the caverns though. Um, surely all these miraculous sites were not created by chance. You desire to visit these places and meditate upon their existence. Perhaps doing so will give you greater insight into your own existence as well. Complete 15 different scenarios and I get to open a box. I will not make everybody watch the entire retirement process because it is quite involved, but I'm gonna open the box so you can see what we got. Okay. Because the retirement process is a whole thing with like, giving all my stuff back and uh, and then setting up a new character. But let's see if this is the character. All right, these stickers, dear stickers. There, oh man. All right, what is this? Oh, the other thing with retirement, so we get to unlock some more road events. So when this, when your first tinkerer retires, you get to unlock event 43, apparently. And we also get to open, ooh, we also get to open um, the town records because we've had somebody retire. So I just unlocked a summoner. An Easter summoner. I just unlocked hail basically. Oh, nice. And we also get to unlock another event, event 33. So 43 and 33 are both unlocked now. 43 let and see, Let me see what kind of awesomeness this is, though. 33. Way less cards. Ooh, I, I think I'm probably going to play this one. The very first card in the pack is Summon Iron Beast. I want to see what the thingy looks like. Weakness. Classes. Unlock. Yes. And here's what the the little model looks like. like What's the symbol for? That character? It's the it's like um syzygy, it's like a whole bunch of circles all within each other. This this one. Okay. I have to I have to look and see. I'm I'm slightly afraid that this one's also gonna be squishy, but I'm hoping that the summoners I have to look at it some more. This is why I'm not gonna make everybody watch me do the retirement process because I have to make a big decision. And that's going to be a lot of me sitting and reading. So that's boring. Yep. <laughs> that's exciting. Ooh. So the first four cards are summon iron beast, summon thorn shooter, summon two shadow wolves, and summon a lava golem. I feel like I've got to play the summoner. OK, then. 
Summoning a bat swarm? Oh my gosh. A living bomb on death explode and target all enemies within range two? Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited about this one. I'm totally playing a summoner. Exciting times. <laughs> That's, I guess, how I will be. Oh, do you need to know the numbers for um, for the things to unlock for like the road events and things like that? Uh, eventually, yeah. OK. I'll put it all later. <laughs> OK. So um, here's, here's a question, though, since we're playing sort of strangely. I'm supposed to take this out of the game now? Eternal Wanderer. Do you want to pull it out of your deck as well? I guess so. Eternal Wanderer. That's the that's the um, goal you had. Yep, that was the goal I had. So how do I say retire in this? So we've done 15 scenarios, huh? Yep, uh, ha we had to beat 15 scenarios. We've actually played closer to like 18 or 19, 18, I think. We um, but some of those were repeats. All right, let's go back to here. Retire. Are you sure to retire this character? Yes. Retired. Our first, ret that means we get to open the town records now too. Wait, you also have to uh, make sure your character before you retire gains XP and stuff, right? Or do you just not do that? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Because I have to. I lose all my gold. I lose all my stuff. Oh, so if somebody wanted to play that character again, it wouldn't be the same character. Right. Yeah. It would just be a new tinkerer character. Okay. Um, so I opened this and there's a whole bunch of reading to do <laughs> until we hit, oh, and then stop reading until Gloomhaven has reached prosperity level three, which we've already hit. So we have quite a lot of reading to do. Okay. Do that later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited, but there's like so much stuff to do to retire a character. And then start up a new one. So it's going to be super boring for anybody trying to watch. Okay. But how it wasn't already boring enough. How much mm -hmm. gold and stuff do I get, though? <laughs> so you get. Um, I didn't loot you're playing level three. So gold is three for every loot you got, is, or one loot you got is three gold. Okay. I didn't loot anything. Okay. <laughs> and then XP is 10. Okay. And then um, there was something else I was going to say. Oh, did you, did you do your thing, your scenario goal? I yeah. actually did, but it makes no difference because I just retired. Mine was basically to open a door. <laughs> <laughs> you always get that one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I never get that one. I always get stuff like earn massive amounts of XP and things like that. And I'm like, well, that's not useful. I'm a little sad, though, because I just got Disintegration Beam. All this stuff goes back into the city. Man. Ooh, what time is it? Oh, I'm still good. Yeah, you have a meeting. Yeah, I have a meeting at uh, 11 my time. All of that gets to go. 
back in. Where's my tinkerer box? There's the tinkerer box. That's cool. Uh, I guess I'll stop recording. <laughs>